Hey Scrappers, it's Tom from the iScrap app and today we're going to talk about carbide. Carbide is made generally of 80 to 90 percent tungsten with a mix of cobalt and other metals inside. Now carbide comes in different forms. These are drill bits that are going to be used in machine shops and the way you can learn about carbide, most of the time it's going to be marked right on here. There's some words on here where you might see the letter W and when you see that letter W stamped on here, which is right in here, you're going to know that this is carbide. Big difference between carbide and high speed steel, while they look the same, carbide is very, very dense. If you took one piece and you touched it, it's about twice the weight of a high speed steel drill bit. These are used inside of machine shops due to their longevity, their strength, and their ability for precision cuts. Now you can see on the end here where the carbide tip has been broken, and that is a reason for the machine shop or the scrapper to cash it in. They want nice clean ends, so when they're using it in the machining process, you have a nice clean sharp end and nothing jagged that customers or consumers would want to return. Here you can see another piece breaking, and when you break carbide, it has a spark that generally pops off of it and you always want to make sure that you're using gloves and glasses because if it breaks these little bits have been known to shoot out very quickly because of the hardness and the density of it. If you don't know what carbide is or you have some and you're not sure, you can always email or comment on these videos and ask the team at the iScrap app to do an analysis on it and let you know what you have. With all different types of carbide out there, let us know more questions that you have, but until next time, I'll scrap you later. If you're looking for a bonus on carbide, here it is. Have your magnet and have your carbide. If this was steel, like this barrel is, you would have a really hard stick with the magnet. But with carbide, watch what happens. You have a very slight pull, but the magnet isn't going to really stay on there. That's because the properties of carbide will promote slight magnetism, but a slight magnet attraction is good, a hard magnet attraction is bad. Another bonus tip, tune in for more videos.